Okay, so uh, you're very close to your family. Describe the importance of that, Shamba. Um, oh, it's good to have a, a good family bond. You know, you always got people to back you up, and and you always got uh, you know someone to hang out with, something to play, someone to have fun with, have a good time. So um, yeah, family is very important. Uh, and you're also started. You just started a family of your own with your daughter. Yeah. How does she change your life? Um, <laughs> yeah, I just had a daughter, Ava, seven, seven months old right now. And, you know, she, she's awesome. She gives me a reason to come home. You know, there's no reason to stay out late a lot of the nights. You know, just come home and she's awesome. Awesome having a daughter. What's your favorite part about being a dad? Um, <laughs> yes, my favorite part about being a dad, I guess, just seeing the, your baby after you haven't seen her for a couple hours or waking up in the morning and... It's just, uh, it's just a real good time. Mm-hmm. You, uh, growing up with brothers, you have a tendency to be very competitive. And you have three three brothers. Mm-hmm. Um, how much of that role do you think that played in your life, competing um, in sports? I, I definitely think uh, having a, a lot of brothers made me competitive. I mean, just with me being in between Reagan and JD, you know, I, I can, you know, I can get into it with him and get into it with Reagan. So <laughs> being a middle child, I think that, that helped me a lot. You seem to go out of your way to represent the state of Hawaii with great pride. From your King Kamehameha pose, during the weigh-ins, mm-hmm. to your brother is, entrance song to your chakras, even uh, staying true to your big island roots. Why is that so important to you? Um, I just... Uh, I, I like to go out there and, and spread Hawaii all, ar- all around the world and, and let people know what we're about. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really good to, to, um, to spread the aloha uh, spirit and, and all these different things around. And, you know, it's, uh, sometimes you feel like if I don't do it, who will? <laughs> you know? Yeah, unlike other celebrities, you're, you're pretty down to earth. You welcome you with your fans. Uh, what, what makes you so grounded and humble? Um... I guess, uh, you know, like, like when, I, when I'm in Las Vegas and then the big UFC and everything and all the action going on, you know, I really don't get to see none of that stuff over here at home in Hilo, so it's just a, a total different world, you know. You, you go up there and it's real busy and all these things, and down here in Hilo, it's, it's uh, just real relaxed. So I think I, I think I could all out of being grounded to just seeing where I grew up. Mm. Uh, do you have any heroes? Um, I... I I for sure have a lot of heroes, uh, Hulk Hogan, <laughs> Rocky Balboa, oh. and Mike Tyson, you know, I mean, everybody's growing up. I'm a, I'm a fan of a lot of people. Do you follow other local athletes like Shane Victorino, Pat um, Pujicao? I'm not a big baseball fan, but, but I know of Shane, you know, and, and I wish him the best in all his successes. And, and I remember Brian Clay uh, mm-hmm. just won the Olympics. That's just amazing. Greatest athlete on, on, on earth right there, so... It's just amazing uh, the kind of athletes that have been coming out of Hawaii lately. What's a typical day in the life of DJ Pan? Typical day in the life, training day, I guess, wake up, you know, drink some, drink a protein shake with some oatmeal, and go work out, come home, relax, eat a bunch more times, and go back, work out again, come home and relax. And on a rest day, just don't do nothing. <laughs> stay, stay at home all day or down at the beach or river or whatever. You make a lot of excellent use of web and social networking, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatnot. Um, how have these helped to get your message out to your fans? Um, yeah, the, it, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a great way to to get uh, what you want to see out to the fans, and and that's the best thing about you know, having having your own website or doing stuff because you know people always try to edit you down and people always try to. Uh, not let you say what you want to say, and that's like that, that's the, the most important thing about having djpen.com is I can say whatever I want to say and I can get that message out. Speaking of djpen.com, uh, looks like you guys put a lot of work into it, daily video blogs and um, forums and that kind of thing for your fans. What's the ultimate goal for the site? Um, I just want to let djpen.com keep growing and, and you know, uh, I guess I guess it, it's at its ultimate goal right now, and, and now we just uh, keep letting it grow and multiply and multiply until until it's uh, until it's something to be reckoned with. <laughs> <laughs> it already is. <laughs> 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 I love that thing.
Um, you work pretty tirelessly with the KK as well at your gym, and you have a BJ Penn Foundation. Um, what motivates you to educate and shape the future of Hawaii? Um, you know, just just kind of watching the kids around. You know, like I don't want to be a role model. I don't want to be, you know, the guy like like I'm a perfect person because I'm not. That's <laughs> for sure. But but if, you know, you put me in a bunch of in front of a bunch of kids and you tell me to start talking to them, and it just seems <laughs> like it comes out natural. Mm. And I just talk to them and and I see them and I know. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has their own hardships and goes through their different things. So it's good, you know, if I can just brighten up their day for a little bit or maybe they can take any advice that I might have learned over, over my years of experience, I guess. You know, uh, it, it, it all makes it worth it. Uh, you've been seen wearing BJ Penn for Governor t-shirt. Is that something <laughs> you're possibly interested um, in? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're going to run for office. <laughs> like, anybody who asked me about that uh, shirt, just have to tell them, we're weighing our options. <laughs> <laughs>